I love trig function limits. Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video we have a limit. Uh, the limit is x approaches 1 of the sine of x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1. So when you see something like this, um, you should think of another limit, right? There's another limit. It's the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x. And so basically, whenever these match, whenever these are the same, and whenever this quantity, right, that's, that's x. So whenever these match and this quantity x goes to 0, you get 1, right? So whenever you have something like this, you're going to get 1. So for example, if we had, in this case here, say we had uh, limit x approaches 1 of sine x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 1. This would be good enough, right? Because these match, right? These match. And when x approaches 1, you get 0 over 0, right? So this would be 1. This would be, it would be OK to make that step. You can make a substitution, and like, you could justify it, right? You could, you could totally justify that. OK, so, so the goal, our goal here in this problem is to make this kind of look like this, right? So you kind of have to have that intuition before you do the problem. So how, how do you get that? Well, just, just practice, right? Doing lots of problems, like, like doing this. So let's do it. Let's try to make this look kind of like this so we can actually do the problem. Good stuff. So the way to do that would be to multiply by x plus 1 over x plus 1. So check this out. So this is x plus 1 over x plus 1. Right, so now we get limit, limit, x approaches 1. Right, the top is the same, so we have, you know what, I'm going to put the x plus 1 in the front just because it looks better. Um, you don't have to do that. I just kind of like, I feel like it just looks better. Because if you put it here, it's easy to get it confused with the sine function, right? It's separate from the sine function. So x plus 1 goes there. Then this is a minus b, a plus b, right? This is like the easiest difference of squares in the history of the world. This is x squared minus 1. Boom, there it is. Now we can write this as limit. x approaches 1. Good stuff. The x plus 1, I'm going to write it outside like this. x plus 1 times, right, times. And this here will be the uh, sine of x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 1, right? So now you have product. And if you really want to be like super fancy and like use all your limit properties, what you could do is you can break this up into like the product of the limits. You can do that because this limit will exist and this limit will exist. So you can break it up as follows. This is the limit of x plus 1. Let's be super pro. Put parentheses times. And this is the limit. Love this stuff. And then you have this here. So this is sine, sine of x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 1. Beautiful problem, right? So now you plug in the 1 here. <laughs> 1 plus 1. Let's not mess up here. Right? 1 plus 1, which is 2. <laughs> This limit here, we talked about this before, this limit is 1, right? So this is uh, uh, 2 times 1, so we just end up with 2. Kind of a cool problem. Um, I hope that made sense. Thanks for watching. See you later.